little echo. There's a glitch in the matrix. There is a glitch in the matrix for sure. Channel. It should have went away. I want to make sure I get this chat up that I can see from you guys. Twice the information and no extra charge. I hear you. It's a much better <laughs> way to say it. Um, all right, so if you guys can hear me now, good. All right, so I'm gonna put these for here for right now and see if you guys can see them. And then we'll start talking back through this stuff. So. So pretty much what I want to show you tonight is I did a couple PC builds. Um, I wanted to show just single cards first, kind of what, what they can do, give you a baseline of what a 1050 Ti and then a 1080 Ti. I know there's a lot of different videos on this, but we'll talk some specifics with the card and some settings. Um, and I've got two like machines. Essentially these are just built a couple Ryzen 5 these are the 1600X uh, chips, little 12 core, and we put them in there with the ASUS Z, or that's the X370 uh, Pro motherboard. Um, just a quick build, two machines, red versus blue here, kind of got some cool lit lights and look to them. We'll put that in the description, that way you guys can see. Um, but I wanted to be able to kind of go from one to the other and, you know, kind of show you kind of what power usage they're using, uh, what kind of settings we can get with these, and then see if the, in, either of these NVIDIA cards are, you know, kind of worth the bang of the buck uh, since you can't get a lot of uh, AMD cards right now. Um, we'll activate the second camera, you know, and let you guys look inside of it here in a minute. And uh, we'll try to get into this and sh show you what kind of is going on here. So... I'm going to shut that down. Ooh. We'll let that reboot. I was running a pretty heavy overclock on that one to see if it could handle it. Looks like it can't. Um, so I'm going to reboot that one. Uh, trying to go for the beans on that one. That was almost a 700 soul setup on that uh, 1080 Ti. But we're going to bring it back to stock. Let it reboot. I'm going to take these sides off so we can get a better look inside of them. The 1050 Ti's. You can get these in the much smaller form factor. So if you're trying to build a little micro rig, um, but this is like a full size card. Pull these off here. Let you guys take a look at that. Bring that one back up. Pull this over. I don't think we're going to be able to get that one over there. We'll hold this down over here for right now. I'll let you guys take a look at that. That kind of setup there. But essentially just the EVGA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Um, both the builds are the same. And then the one that we have plugged in right now, which we'll pull this one up and then you can see with the camera. Um, the Founders Edition here. Got that a little too tight. There we go. We'll let you guys take a look at that one and see what we're looking at here. Got a lot of tech on there. We'll let you see that build. So, out of the box, this card's about almost seven hundred dollars. This is a little cheaper one right now until you know Nvidia decides to jack up pricing, like everybody else seems to be doing right now with all their graphics cards. But this one's the only one that's around just under seven hundred dollars price point. Um, baseline numbers 
on the machine and wattage. Pull that up here. We're at just the machine running. Nothing going on. I don't know if we can see that or get zoomed. Uh, I think you can probably see that. About 53, 53 watts. So this system right now is not using a ton of juice. So we're going to try to do some baselines real quick with this 1080 Ti. You got that? All right. So yeah, 52, 56. And then we're going to run EVGA Precision just to kind of see what the base numbers on this one is. This again needs the ASUS version of the uh, Founders Edition. And tonight we'll be using, we're going to try four different miners to kind of give you a, a, a different scope between a couple Zcash and a couple Ethereum to see what it can do. Uh, so base, base settings right now, you can see that. We'll move this over to the side and we'll go ahead and start first with uh, Z minor. Now this is the 0.3.3B version of that. And just default settings, there's nothing, but if you just downloaded this from the link, um, this is pretty much just set up to, actually I think I'm even mining to somebody else's pool on this. It's just kind of in there. Now this 1080 Ti is 11 gigs. It's a little weird. I know AIM, our uh, EVGA does a little strangeness with their uh, memory settings, but 11 gig card. You can see right now, 1797 core and effective memory clock at 5,000. That's um, a bit. So right out of the gate, 675, I don't know if we can get zoomed in on that. That gives you kind of a baseline of that card. And I'll uncheck the uh, other things so you can see. So bone stock, nothing uh, really configured on this. This is using the latest uh, drivers. Why that's going here, I'm gonna pull this up to the side and let you know which version of the drivers we're using right now. So essentially, this is a fresh build of Windows 10 too. Like, literally just set it up today. No other specifics. We put the motherboard drivers, the basic stuff that you normally do, um, setting up a new PC, but 382.33. Uh, so it's the latest drivers out there for NVIDIA is what we're using right now on this. Now this card's getting a little warm in this case. Uh, it's at 81 Celsius right now with uh, triple sixes. It's kind of funny. Turned red on us right when it gets 666. Um, so that's kind of the, it's it's gonna start to do some thermal throttling there. So it looks about 675 right out, you know, bone stock if you can keep it cool. And taking a look at the power, now mind you, we haven't touched anything with the power. We're looking at 317. So 326. So that's about oh, what, 250, 270? All right. It's power hungry. 83 Celsius. That fan still isn't hitting the curve to go up. Well, I'm gonna we're gonna juice her up on this next one now. Curve set to five. Okay, so it's not too bad. Now what we're gonna do? Is take it down to about 75. Now this these cards like a lot of juice. So what we've been researching is uh, taking these things down to like 60 is doesn't do much for them. Uh, besides, really kind of impact your mining. Um, so we just applied that. I went and kicked the fan up. I'm just dropping the power target. I'm gonna see how much does it hit, take a hit on mining, which is dropping the power target to 75. And then how much does that help us with uh, electricity here? So we're looking at, that's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty decent drop. That's about 75 watts, just dropping it by 25%. And let's check a look and see if it really hit the soles. 
it did it knock about 75 ironically um 75 souls off it just by leaving the stock clocks and dropping the power target it uh pulled its uh its output down quite a bit so it comes down just to a math problem if you pay a lot for electricity of really where uh, what you need to do with that. Looks like it's recovering a little bit, 615. Uh, but power's still holding at 4, 247. So 324 down to 247 is what the drop was just by dropping the power target on this card. So we're going to kill that. We're gonna take this up to 75. I have num lock on. We're gonna take this up to 300. We're gonna keep the power target down at 70 at 75. We're gonna come back to here. And we're gonna see what what we end up pulling here. Minor overclock, minor overclock on the memory by comparison to what these things can really do. And mind you, we're doing a lot of the discovery here. Tonight was really just getting these things ready and built and getting windows and everything loaded on both of them and kind of setting the stage for this 1050 and 1080 build for you guys tonight. Or this 1080 Ti build for you. Um, we're up to 639 souls. We'll probably end up at about 640 and we're still holding the same power level so again that's with plus 300 on the memory offset and plus 75 on the gpu uh, offset so it looks like we're about six 640 holding about two 240 watts so that's that's just about 190 195 from the card alone yeah it looks about 640 640 there now I'm gonna be kind of going through this pretty quick because I'm gonna try to stair step it until we get some kind of artifacts or something happens here um, and so a little bit of pre-testing I know that it does not like much over 650 on the memory and 100 on the overclock if you have the power target down the mining actually takes a kind of good hit so we're leaving the power target at the same on this one right here and we're going to 100 on the gpu clock and we're going to 650 on the mem clock and we're going to see what that does both for power and on output on zcash now i'm going to kind of go through this quickly on the on uh, Ethereum right after this. We're just gonna fly through kind of what the Ethereum uh, outputs are and then we'll move over to the 1050 Ti. So we're about 650 here and power hasn't moved. Uh, moved uh, one, one or two megahertz or uh, watts, sorry. So we're about almost to stock, but you can see what happens with that uh, with that power underclock is you're you're essentially having to really overclock it to get back to where stock was to have a lower power target. You know, if you're if you're wanting to drop it from 324 down to 250, you know, on just one card, and this is real good for the folks that are tuning in from like that are that are gamers. You know, that just if you want to use this for some, you know, you're gaming through your, you get home from work, you game for five, six hours, whatever it is, and then you want to run this thing at night, you know, you, this is kind of the one card, you know, example here. Like, you know, I have one 1080, you know, you want to hedge a little at night and get a little crypto, uh, get into the market. This is kind of, this is also for you guys. That's what kind of these builds are for, is uh, to kind of show that, you know, you can, do, you can do it with one card. All right, we're at 640 there. What I'm going to try to do is get this. Now we're going to go and bring the power target to actually a little about 110%, and we're going to take this to 135 and 850 and see if we can handle it. 
Now this is the Founders Edition card. This isn't, you know, like the MSI Gaming or Twin Frozer um, cards. So this one's not going to be like the bin processors and uh, memory here. Um, we did get some serious artifacting when we tried a thousand earlier. They really did not like being juiced up like with a lot of the other uh, higher end TI um, sets. We're going to see what this, now this is going to really juice it up. But it's a pre-testing, we kept the power targets real low. When we started getting over 120 megahertz on the GPU, and we started getting over like the 650, 700, we just got artifacts. So what I'm trying to do here is just see if it can handle it and then what, what did we juice it up to. And bottom line, if you're paying a lot for power, it's not going to be worth it. Because uh, you can see right now, the power is holding about 350, yeah, 345. Um, so that's almost 100 watts more just from that one card. Um, and that's on a gold power supply. This is the power supplies in this. I should have said that. This is on, uh, we had 750 thermal takes in here uh, on the gold side. So looks like. 684 souls right now so about only 10 souls extra um so you know on this on the founders cards not so much worth it we've seen some of the uh some of the other ti's that people have posted up like the gaming x's and i think even like the armor editions are holding about 750 souls at about a thousand memory and about uh 150 overclock or 150 on the the GPU, and I think they have to keep it around 100%. Uh, percent. So you can't really underclock too much from what I've seen, at least, on the Founders Editions. You might be able to underclock a little more on some of the other cards, and we'll see that later on in the few weeks when we get some other 1080 Ti's in to, to start doing some testing. But from a Founders Edition standpoint, I wanted to kind of give you a baseline uh, walkthrough on overclocks and power um, to show you kind of where that, where that, where that one could do. Yep, right there. So just trying to kill the miner. It's artifacting. It's over 850 on the memory. On at least the Founders Editions, they're not really uh, really holding um, like the you know the the more premium versions of the 1080 Ti's. At least from this version that we're seeing here. And again, this is the the ASUS variant of the Founders Edition. And I'll, I'll pull up and bring and show you guys memory on GPU-Z and stuff before we get away from this one. Um, and give you kind of a, a, a look at which memory type we're, we're working with and that. Well, that's rebooting, I'll, uh, I'll answer some of the questions if you guys got any. Yeah, the, 10, the 1070s seem to be the winners right now. Um, if you can find them for a decent price. All right, so we're gonna go back into precision. I'm gonna take it back to the settings that that seem to be pretty decent for it. And then I'm gonna try it with another Zcash miner and then we'll get into Ethereum um, with it. So while that's trying to open, we're gonna open up GPU-Z. We'll get zoomed in on that. So micron memory, um, the you know 11, 11 gigs of memory. Um, so that's the memory that's on this card here. Base GPU clock fourteen eighty one, and then the effective memory. You see that thirteen seventy six. So that's the baseline on the card. So we're gonna reset these power settings here. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna take this guy to 100. Uh, then unlocks off again. And if there's any, uh, make sure the folks helping me out here tonight uh, 
No, if there's any super chats, let me know and I'll I'll, I'll answer those real quick. Um, we pause for super chats, so let's see here. Uh, let's do seven hundred. See if that's a sweet spot for it. We're gonna leave the power target the same. I'll keep hitting it. And then I'm gonna try Nice Hashes Miner. Now I think there's a newer version of this. Uh, oh, we have to download the feature. Again, this was a fresh build, so this should happen pretty quick. Again, this is the uh, Ryzen 5, the 1600, the 1600X. This is a six core processor with uh, six virtual, so it's a tw essentially a 12, 12 core, 12 logic processors on this process, on this one. Um, boost clocking to uh, 3.8. All right, that got installed. And we got, of course, got an SSD in this. Relaunched. Nice hash. So yeah, they do have a, a newer version here. I believe it puts not Claymore 9.4. Uh, check here real quick. Yeah, the new new version goes to the e dual miner to 9.4. We're going to be using Zcash. I'm not too worried about that one for this one. We're going to come in here. We're going to hit settings. We're going to go to devices and algorithms. We're going to go into here. We're going to uncheck some of these other ones right now. Right, All I care about right now is equal hash. I'm going to save and close that. And we're going to come back and we're going to hit start on this. It, it'll do a basic benchmark on it real quick just to make sure that it's handling right. It doesn't have any issues. And then, again, I'm just doing this to just try a different Zcash miner before we move on to Ethereum to see if kind of the baseline. And this also kind of, nice hash we have it set up on this particular miner to go straight to Bitcoin. So to give you kind of an idea of, you know, how much right now, at least in this period of time, um, you know, on the 7th of June, what what kind of output does this card have? So here it goes, and we can start to see, right now it looks like this, it's calculating, doing almost 700, so it's a little faster um, than that other miner, the e, uh, Z miner 033B. Looks like it's almost 700 souls here, and 700 souls from one card. So if this is it again, I don't. I'm gonna reiterate: if you are like a gamer, you're watching this, and you're like, "Who are these dudes, and why are they talking about this?" You can figure out that hey, I have a, a 1080 Ti. You know what kind of what kind of pull in right now if I'm doing you know some Bitcoin, if I'm converting it to Bitcoin from Zcash right now, and this estimator right now is showing about seven dollars and seventy eight cents a day essentially so about eight bucks almost um right now with the way the prices and i mean they fluctuate and stuff but you know kind of give you a baseline anywhere from six to eight dollars uh for a 1080 ti um right now so 690 souls um it's showing 245 watt as a power that thing is a beast on power usage so if you're going to try to do a rig of like six or seven of these uh, or even eight of them, because you can do eight in Windows, you're gonna need a couple power supplies. So there's no getting around it. I mean, this is this is like R9, where's that big, like R9 uh, 290Xs kind of, kind of land. Probably not that bad. I don't know where that big R9 is. Where's where that R9 at? Um, I have an example I was gonna show you around here. We get the, uh, the Tri-X. Yeah, this is getting in the territory of this guy here. 
We pulled out some old relic. We're gonna be doing an episode on some older cars. Just a lot of people have been asking about doing some older cars, but this is an old Triax uh, Sapphire um, R9 290X. This thing's like beast mode, but it's using about the same amount of power as this big guy. So. The, uh, yeah, look, where's the, where's the other one? Now, it's not probably as bad as this guy. This is pretty hilarious. We're, we're going we'll pull out some of the old vintage stuff now. So this was a, uh, 6970, 6970. It's a two gig, so you can't do much with this anymore. But, uh, we're thinking about doing a vintage rig build, um, just to show people what they, what they do and how, how the cards have aged and gotten better and more efficient, but. Yeah, this thing's putting out about that same. 250 watts of power right now. Triple sevens on the USD right now. Seven dollars seventy-seven cents is what this card's averaging. Looks pretty, if you know, holding 60, 70 Celsius. Or actually, it's holding 59 Celsius that the fan is all the way up. That's a single fan. The Founders cards only have a single fan. It's got that kind of, you know, uh, I guess tunneling. Uh, way of cooling to where it has a single fan that's kind of built in and it blows it through the card. It's kind of like a hair dryer. You'll hear that a lot. Um, they're a lot louder. Um, but I think we've got through enough to, got to show you guys. It's about almost a 700 mega hash card for the Founders Edition. Uh, and again, we'll go back to 1080 Ti's um, later on in the next few weeks with some other higher end versions of it to show you guys. So. That's kind of where the 1080 Ti is. Again, $690 price point right now on today's prices, so we can kind of write that down and have that as a benchmark as we start to move into this one after I chest Ethereum with this. Uh, we're gonna go straight. We're gonna leave the settings the way they are, and then I'll back them down and show you base stock settings for Ethereum. Um, so we're gonna bring up, now this is uh, Claymore 9.4. Uh, or actually, this is 9.3. We have an older version of Claymore on this. So we we kind of copy a, a base build that has a lot of uh, the mining software already on it. So this really needs actually to get updated to 9.4. But 9.3 should work fine. I don't think there was any major update between uh, 9.3 and 9.4 when it came to the 1080 Ti. But right there, that's why a lot of people like the 1080 Ti. You can zoom in and see that. So, yes, that is uh, 35, 36 mega hash on Ethereum. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you get a, you get an eight card rig of those running. And mind you, some of the uh, the higher end, like the Asus Strix and the Gaming X versions of those TIs, those things are, I've seen some of them go all the way to almost 38 mega hash per card. So yeah, 36.2, uh, and we're, we're using actually less energy uh, with it right now. We're using 276 right now with the overclocks. So, you know, 110 um, or 210 watts of power per card. Repeat the card info. Yeah, so the card right here, this is the card we're looking at right now. This is the Founders Edition ASUS 1080 Ti. So we're looking at, and mind you, this is no BIOS updates or anything like that with it. Um, this is purely just out of the box, put into a machine. You know, if you're a single card gamer, this is kind of the output that you'd be getting 35, 36 mega hash. If you put your settings, EVGA precision, you leave your base power target that, we'll back that down here in a second on Ethereum and show you, but base GPU clock offset at 100 and MEM set offset at 700. Now on this card, over 750 is when we started artifacting. So I think this is really the limit on this card. You can get cards that can go over to 1,000 on the memory offset plus, and then about 150, 175 on the GPU. So um, 
Yeah, it keeps bouncing between 35 and 36.8, almost 37. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to do, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna try to take this to 125. I'm gonna take this to 110. So I'm taking the, the power target up to give it a little more juice because I'm taking the GPU memory on the actual GPU uh, overclock and I'm gonna take the, the MIM. We're just gonna take that up a little bit more because I think at, I think at the 750, I think at 850 is when we got artifacts, but we're gonna check here. So we're giving a 10% overclock on the power too. We're gonna restart this. We're gonna see if we can bust 37 with this card, with this. So here we go. Let's see if uh, Ethereum can do it. Let's see if we can uh, breach the 37 mark on the, on the Founders Edition. So again, now, now we're talking GPU clocks of 2012 and uh, memory overclock of 5760. There we did, we busted 37. 37.1, 37.2. That's a pretty good uh, number. And again, this is the, about the only, the founders cards, if you can find them. A lot of people, you know, these are the first ones that come out. A lot of folks that want to switch out to like the more over, you know, the strict edition or the, uh, you know, the, the, there's the Gaming X editions, there's the Gigabyte Overclock editions, you know, people will kind of switch out for these. You can sometimes find these at Micro Center in the, in the returns um, and pick them up a little cheaper, around 600, 625, something like that. But uh, yeah, you get a handful of them. Let's check the power real quick. 278, so we, we bumped up a little bit, that 10% overclock on the power uh, kind of gave it, gave it to us. So I'm gonna try one more thing with this before we shut this guy down. And I'm gonna, now that we know we can get 37 out of the card with 125 and with 750 on the memory, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna try to take the power down and see if we can stay on maintain. So we're gonna kill that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down to 85% power target. We're gonna leave the GPU and the memory offset on. We're gonna apply it. We're gonna go right back the restarting the miner and see if we get artifacting if it dies uh, again these cards the, the 1080 ti's really want the juice so we'll see if it can handle uh the overclocks and significantly drop the power get the uh, we're still holding 37.2 and the power didn't drop much 273 still so power target 85 really didn't do much 271 still holding 37 what we're gonna do is we'll take this down now this is probably gonna call, cause an artifact. We'll see, we're gonna take it down to 60. We're gonna retry, play more. Let's see if it can handle it. This 60% power target should drop that, uh, that uh, power usage quite a bit actually. Let's see if it really takes a hit on the mega hash too on the. Well, right now we're at 205 power. It's holding it. Now if it'll hold it, let's, let's, let's let it sit here a second and see if it's a thing. But now we're at 205. Remember the machine itself is about 55, 56 watts. So we're talking now 150 watts. So we're down from 250. 
We've taken, we pulled out about, or 250 at its peak with Zcash. So we're at 206 power at 37 mega hash. I think that's kind of the sweet spot for it, at least for this Founders Edition card. Um, of course, we're going to take this up a little more at this power target and see if we can get more until we can get it to artifact with uh, with Z or with uh, Ethereum. So again, we're still holding 208. We're 37.1. It looks like we dropped into 36 just for a second here. Let's try it one more time. With 30, whoa, not 1200. That would probably catch a fire. Not 1200. That would actually be hilarious. 130, let's do 137. Let's do 835. Weird numbers, I know. But I did have it die on me every time I tried after 850. And again, this is at a 60% power target. And if this dies, we'll try the same settings at a higher power target, and then we'll go ahead and we'll call this one done um, with a review on at least for the 1080 Ti. And then we're going to move to the 1050, which is the lower cost, much lower cost. I mean, we're talking six. 690 retail on this, you know, so you can find them maybe with some discounts, maybe 675, close to $700 versus a $150 card. So, I mean, we're going to we're going to see what the differences are here. We almost broke 38, 37.6. It dropped down to 36.5, so this is going to bounce a little because I think the power targets. Now, we're going to feed it more power after this, and that's the last test that we're doing with it. And then we're gonna go to the 1050 Ti. So I think that one's it. Last test. We're gonna give it some more juice. Just to see if it puts it over. And then we'll we'll take this up a little more and see if we can get it to artifact uh, before we switch it. But again, I'm just trying to do a, a just a quick comprehensive test on the the 1080 Ti for you before we switch it. Give you some different settings that you can kind of fast you know go back through, fast forward through. So it didn't really adjust. I mean, it's, it's holding 37.7, so it's really close to the same power usage. 270 so around the same power usage now again remember the the power usage at 60 was at 205 and we were getting 37 so you obviously you'd want to keep it I was just seeing if the power increase helped us um, which it really didn't it's making it more stable than jumping around to 36 37 8 okay so and now we artifacted so that kind of killed it. So I think I, from that memory level, it's probably not super stable. Uh, again, the Founders Edition, probably 750 is probably where you're going to be at. But at 60% power target, you're talking close to 37 mega hash per card. So if you got a 6x one of these, you're talking 150, 175 per card. You're talking a 1600 watt power supply for six of them. You're talking two power supplies if you're going over six. So that's kind of the, the main key. Um, this card has a six and an eight pin connector. Um, a lot of the other 1080 Ti's have two eight pins, so. We'll let this get back up. Um, This is probably gonna artifact, but I'm just gonna max out the setting real quick and see if we could bust 38. And then we're gonna switch over to this one. And there's, this one's not gonna be as, as, as 
much of a stair step because it being a lower end card I'm going to take this to Numlock needs to be turned on automatically on that build. We're going to go there. Give. So I'm taking the power target as high as it'll go 135 and 1000 memory. And we're going for Ethereum. Let's see if we just get an artifact right away or not. And we'll check power and then we'll switch we'll switch over to the 1050 Ti. Artifact and right away. Yeah, so this the the higher end 1080 Ti's can usually do that 1000 and you'll get around 38 uh, mega hash. So that's it for this one. Went ahead and uh, just gave that a try just to see if it would work. Not working with the Founders Edition. So what we're gonna do now is switch over this to this box. We're just moving this over. We'll move the power over to this box and get through this one. Where are we at time-wise? We're at 42 minutes. Try to make this probably a little It'll, it'll circumstantially go a little over an hour. I was really kind of targeting an hour, but I'll, I'll give a chance for you guys to ask. You know, I, I'll do some question and answer um, there for a little bit right after this. We get through this one for a few minutes. Probably not much over an hour, so see if we can get through this one pretty quick. Give you guys an idea. Again, this is this next one here is a 1050 ti it's the for the win edition this card at, uh, at least micro center had like a retail sticker price of 179 it was about 149 right now price wise you can get these a little cheaper some we'll get some uh different variants of this card you can get them in the micro size kind of like uh this size here you know, you can get them in this size. This is a 750 Ti, so don't be confused, but you can get these 1050s about that size um, for a smaller form factor. But this is the card that we're, we're gonna be running right with right now. Again, same build, uh, same driver. Everything's the same as this machine, the same processor. It's essentially an identical machine, same power. Uh, I wanted to make sure and try to speed up than the other videos where I didn't have to keep swapping cards and stuff that I had exactly the same kind of setup. So again, this is, instead of doing like six cards with this right out of the gate, I wanted to show you guys and also kind of target the folks that have maybe this card and just have one of them to show what you can get out of it. Um, I'm gonna open up Precision, we'll open up GPU-Z so you can see what, what the memory and everything on this card is. So we're talking you know, 768 shaders, talking four gigs of memory, DDR5 Samsung. So not DDR5X like the 1080 Ti. This is just DDR5 Samsung memory on this one. We're gonna leave everything, this already had an overclock on it, which we're gonna change. We're gonna hit default. So we're gonna make sure that this, this card out of the gate is running default settings. And we'll start with Z minor, or ZEC minor 033B. So out of the gate, power requirements. Again, this is the same power supply, same machine. So right now, out of the box. this go it looks like it's about 112 watts so we're talking about 50 60 watts right now for this card hundred and seventy two souls so you're talking 
Yeah, about a hundred, about sixty-two. There's only one. Uh, yeah, the that's a good point. I saw one of the comments that the the for the win edition does have a six pin. A lot of the other five eight or uh, ten fifties do not have a, even a six pin. They're a lot like the four sixties, like the power colors that don't have one. I have a six pin. So we're just looking at for juice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of jump around on this one real quick for I can get a little taste of both Zcash and Ethereum at base clocks. So here's Ethereum base clock 1080 Ti or 1050 Ti rather. You can see we haven't ran this on this this machine yet. I like discovering this with you guys. It's it's fun for me too. So 10.3, which is a lot clo really close to the the RX 460. Um, looks like 10.4, 10.4, really close to the RX 460. So we're talking just at about 50 watts on the car, a little less, actually 45 watts, because it was 55 on this machine. Um, so 45 watts for 10.4 mega hash. So let's kill that. Let's do... ...125 here. We're gonna just juice this up to, let's go straight to 650 and apply that. We're first gonna start with the base power target of the same and then we're gonna back it down. So we'll first start with Z, Zcash. Again, the settings, leaving the power the same. GPU offsets at one plus 125. Mem, the memory is at six, 650. I'll show you who's behind the camera in a second. <laughs> I got so I got some of the BBT support here tonight. I've been keeping them huddled up trying to get my website done. So we're at about 183. So it's about 10 and powers at 120. It was a little a little about 20 watts more. Uh, on that bump. So let's see if we if it holds 183 souls. 186. Eh. It's going up. <laughs> Cameraman has approved his. <laughs> So we're, I'm going to let it tick one more time. Zcash likes this kind of stair step. Yeah, 190. So we broke 190 um, with the 125 and 650 on this at the expense of about 20, uh, 20 on the power. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do Ethereum on this, and then I'm going to come back using these same settings and back the power down and see if we can hold the same settings with a lot less power usage. So this is Ethereum now with the plus 125 clock and the 650 memory. Let's see what it does. What's the over under on this? We gonna hit 12? 13 two is not bad. Thirteen five. We'll let it run a few ticks. One twelve. Yeah, one sixteen power. 
Let's see what the third tick. Hey, it's ticking up. I'm gonna let it go four or five ticks here. Let's see, let's see if it wants to. Up oh, there it goes. Now it leveled off. So 137. We're almost breaking 14 with it. At 111. Eh, not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna back the target the power down. See if it can hold that at a 70. Actually, let's go to 60. Now let's go 70. 70. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with Ethereum and work my way back to Zcash. Let's see if we can drop that power quite a bit. That's already looking promising if that power stays that same. We'll see. Still holding mid 13.5 and we're now, we're 112. I mean, it's the power didn't really take much of a hit at 70. It might have to go down to 60% to see if it drops it. 13.6. We will be taking the, the other settings up. I'm gonna take this back. I'm gonna take this down to 60. I'm gonna see if it affects it and then I'm gonna do Z, Z cash with it. And then we're gonna we're gonna take the settings up a little higher. Again, this card's about 150, and this is one of the more higher end 1050 Ti's. You can get these cheaper out there. I mean, right now you can. I mean, who knows after this video, if people are like, wait a minute, that's 120 at 13 and a half mega hash. That's pretty good. It's right now in that RX 460 with the timings and uh, you know a moderate, decently overclocked. 13.6, power target doesn't really seem to be drawing the power too much down. It's still holding 113. So you're still talking 60 watts right now, 62 watts, something like that at 13.6. So 60 watts, 13.6, that's not bad. I mean. I think the RX 460s were actually a little better. I think we were at them down to 45 watts and 37 watts at just 13. So the 460s are still winning the power. And we'll go back and relook at that video and maybe we'll do a more uh, a normal episode. We've been doing a lot of live streams because I'm trying to get this out to you guys right now. I do want to do some nor normal traditional episodes. Maybe we'll do like a 1050 Ti versus RX. 460 do a few of them against each other um, specifically but there's where I think where the power is kind of and yeah, I'm still 11 it's getting a little weird inconsistencies so you start to have that 13 7 12 9 9 that kind of happened if you start having that power target down turn down all right so we're gonna go to Zcash and see what these power settings if it affected the 190 souls that we were getting out of the card. And then I'll try nice hash after this just to see, because nice hash was a little faster. Um, we'll have to set that the, the settings up with this one like normal. One eighty four souls at one hundred and fifteen watts. So again, about sixty five watts power for one hundred eighty four souls. I'm gonna let it tick one time. Now, I haven't messed with the fan settings on this card. It's saying right about 66. Yeah, 186. So it's it's holding, you know, just under 190 at a power target of 60. 
Got an accepted share there. Yay! So now let's try. We'll we'll add nice hash into the mix here once we find a setting that's really kind of dialed in. I'm gonna try to go 150. And let's just go for the beans. And we'll back it down if it blows up here. I'm gonna take this back to 100. I always like starting with enough power first and then working my way down. We applied that. We'll start with Zcash, we'll go back to Ethereum. Now, what I changed there is I brought the power target back up to 100%. I put the GPU clock, another plus 25, and I took the MIM clock straight to 1,000. And see if this For the Win Edition does not handle 1,000. So, went down. That's a hard down. So we're gonna take it back down to about 750. 750, 800 on the memory. Um, and I'll keep the GPU clock probably in the 130s. It's, it, 150 just seems to really kind of make them unstable. So we'll let that reboot. I'll look at some questions if there's any. Let's see, we have. Uh, where do we dial load our miners? Uh, let's see. Are there's which one was first? Is it worth gold over bronze? Yes. Don't buy a bronze PSU. If you're gonna do some mining, don't go bronze. <laughs> and I mean, if you're really trying to do a super budget build, you could maybe get by with a silver. I mean, I've had a few miners when it was like desperate times. I couldn't find any golds coming in. Um, but gold is worth it. It's worth it in the long run. Um, it's just, it's noticeably more efficient than a bronze. Go gold. I mean, usually we've been known for just going platinum, but I literally cannot find any more platinum power supplies anywhere without spending a lot more than the gold. So, we had some other people cleaning those out. Besides, I do have a few new ones site for cashing out so if you're uh if you're using nice hash it goes straight to bitcoin you go to bitcoin you can go into coinbase and cash out um if you're going to ethereum you can go to coinbase also and cash out um if you're mining dual mining getting other coins you go to poloniax you can go to a couple of the other exchanges yobit um even though i've had some problems with the yobit so i probably wouldn't recommend that one um, like literally, I think I sent them five Ethereum, and it never, and never, and never hit my my wallet. So, it's, yo bit's dead to me. All right, so we're gonna take this to one thirty. And we're gonna take this to 750. Because I think we were at 650 before that was actually successful. And oh I didn't need to really do that, but I'm gonna just keep this at auto. One question was what Claymore minor version? The Claymore minor version we're using right now is 9.3. And if you're asking why I'm not using one 9.4, it just wasn't part of our copy. Uh, from the builds that we move over, we can try 9.4. We'll do that when I when I pull the 460s versus this in a separate episode. I'll make sure it's 9.4. I don't anticipate a huge difference and change in 9.4 or 9.3 when it comes to the mega hash on this. So we're starting with Ethereum. So really, we just went up. 5 megahertz on the GPU clock and 100 on the MEM. I'll take the MEM up until it doesn't allow me to. We broke 14. There's 14 mega hash at still about 65 watts. Not 
too bad. We'll go... Nice Ash. I'll let this one download. So when you first download Nice Ash, it's going to update some .NET settings. It uses a some Microsoft dependencies in their software. We'll make sure we have these links in there for you guys for some of the 1050 Ti's. Uh, to get to, we'll make sure that we have the uh, the build that we have for these both of these boxes with all the stuff in them, the Ryzen processor, all that kind of stuff's in there, so you guys can get to it. All right, let's try this nice hash. We're gonna try to wrap up here in a few minutes. Um, I'm trying to keep these in buckets of consumption where we're not spending like two hours. Uh, we will have longer episodes, and if I do a bigger build. Um, there's a few builds that we're doing for this week uh, that I want to show you guys. I'm going to go in here and set the uh, correct algorithm. So I want to benchmark that and then it will start up. Now this is just on uh, the Zcash and this goes straight to Bitcoin. So essentially you're mining Zcash and it's auto converting on the exchange to Bitcoin. You put in your Bitcoin address in here and then it just pays you out in Bitcoin. And it does like every five day or so increments. Um, so it allows you to uh, kind of accrue an amount and then it just pays you out. So where the 1080 Ti was about $7.70. Um, this looks like about, it's only doing 160 souls right now on this one versus 180. That's an interesting, uh, different super chat. We got a super chat. Understand mining BIOS and Flores, but when adjustments made in afterburn tricks, also back in the city for this match. Let me reread that again. Must you go back? So you met if you the modding of the BIOS and Polaris um, is really just for the straps and timings. You can hard code if you have good settings, like we've done with a lot of our miners, and you'll see in some of our previous live streams where we try to walk you guys through, um, you know, setting up BIOS. If we find settings that we like and I don't want to mess with doing any kind of soft modding on the GPU and the memory, um, we put them in the Polaris BIOS and have kind of our own BIOS already set up where I don't have to sit there and push a soft clock to it. Um, if you just do the timings, then you gotta handle you gotta handle your soft clock separately. So if you're using Windows, you'll do it in Tricks or you'll do it in Afterburner. Um, and Afterburner's nice because you can link all everything and just make the one setting change um, and, and that's what, especially with like the NVIDIA cards, you can just have them all checked and just make one setting change. Um, with simple mining, you know, you can go in there and you give individual cards their clocks, soft clocks, but it's really fine in one that if you just don't want to mess with soft, soft clocks, I mean, simple mining makes it pretty simple, but, um, you can, if you have a setting that works, you can absolutely go in there and, and set those settings, hard code them into there and then I, and then set all your soft clocks at just base. Don't don't make any changes like in simple mining, just leave everything at zero and then it'll take whatever's on the card. And you don't have to push any settings to it. So this has been running for a cool minute. Um, dollar eighty one a day. It's only showing 164 souls, which should uh, it should be about 180. So I'm gonna kill this. I'm going to come into Z minor, which on the TI was running slower than nice hash, but now I'm going to run this. And if this runs faster than nice hash, that's an interesting, uh, 
an interesting turn of events there compared to uh, the 1050 Ti versus the 1080 Ti. Um, just reacting to the miner a little different. So we'll see what this Z miner is getting, and if it's back in the 180s, 190s, then this is this is paying. This is yeah, 189. So you can see the difference between the mining software there in this instance where the Zcash's CUDA miner 033B is running a little faster than uh, than what NiceHash's miner is with the, at least the 1050 Ti. The 1080 Ti was the opposite way around. So it's good to always kind of test both to make sure you're getting the most efficient uh, mining software on there. Um, but yeah, it's holding about 180. Power usage 119. It was about the same for all of them. It's a little, little more for Zcash on these Nvidia cards. So I think that's gives you guys a kind of a good baseline, at least for the 1050 Ti, at least for tonight. Um, so you're looking at a, a 14 mega hash card if you set your settings appropriately um, at about 65 watts. So I, right now this RX 460 still looks like it's raining a little better, especially if you can get it cheaper. So uh, at least it got you guys a baseline of what the 1050 Ti is. I'll give you a, about five, eight minutes worth of questions um, and I'll see if I can get some answered. Looks like we've had a few uh, a few super chats here I missed. So uh, 120 percent power, 175 core. I I haven't had a lot of success with putting. Uh, the GPU that high. We can, I can try that while we're, while I'm looking at some other questions, but the uh, memory is where it's at usually on most of these coins. 175, 110 power. Well, it's only going to let me go to TDP only lets me go up a little bit more, not not that high on that. We'll give that a whirl and see what it can do. Where that's going. What's better for mining? It really comes down to the price of the stuff that you guys can get. The 1060, the 1063 gig that we previewed um, did very well at 24 mega hash on the card. And if you could get that for like the 199, 189 rate on the three gigs, it's a good deal. This 24 mega hash, $189, and was using 65 watts of power also. It was almost the same as this. That 175, not happening. That's what I was saying. I don't think the uh, that's pretty much uh, that blowing up. Yeah, 175 is not happening on that. I kind of blew that up. We'll reboot this guy. Um, I'd say if you can if you can get a good deal on the 1070s, it's probably your best bang for the buck because you're talking. 1070s are at the 31, 32 mega hash rate, uh, almost as good as that 1080 Ti, about five mega hash off, and about $300 cheaper. So um, the 1070s are probably the best, but it seems like uh, Nvidia is starting to raise the prices on them. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it like one more minute. I'll stay in the chat for a little bit longer. Uh, what else do we have? Proof of work when? thoughts are we talking proof of work proof of stake so if you guys go out to the there's a YouTube channel called the ethereum foundation and they're it's essentially where the, de the developers will have like dev chat they just had one about a week ago 
And on that dev chat, it's stored out there. They start talking uh, Metropolis, which is their next release. Then they got Serenity. Um, they talk stuff about uh, features in Casper. Uh, so bottom line, their, their testing phase for proof of work, proof of stake hybrid. So that's the key point that they were talking in that dev meeting was having having everything out on the branch to be able to pull for testing as early as the end of July of this year, um, but probably more towards September, October um, from just a testing phase, like on testnet. So it's not on the mainnet. Mainnet is the actual Ethereum public blockchain. So listening, if you're trying to find more information about that, that if their dev notes, I mean, a lot of it's probably going to be foreign to you, especially if you don't code or have anything to do with code. Um, but you can hear and pick up kind of key points when the testing is going to occur, when they're going to have, you know, potentially start talking about doing some kind of uh, change management with regards to letting folks know when to uh, expect, you know, a release. You would probably look at a hybrid solution first. I think that's what all but fully said by Valtic or, uh, and the dev team, the Ethereum Foundation essentially are saying that it's gonna be hybrid first, which means that it's gonna be a split between proof of work and proof of stake. Uh, so you're, you will be able to still mine and that's super predicated on what the price is. Um, and then you're talking probably sometime in 18 from all of that discussion that I was hearing in there is probably when they would get into proof of stake, but I, they still got some some big issues to figure out with it. 120 power, 175 megahertz on the TI. Got it. Yeah, the TI. We can we can try it while we're sitting here, and I'm talking through it. Um, we'll try a different power setting. Uh, the that part so I mean what I'd say is the best thing you guys can do is just if you're really super concerned with that because you're really just wanting to stay with Ethereum mining um, catch those dev those live dev things go out there subscribe to them you know get the notification like if you get the notification from us to whenever they're gonna have the meetings they seem to have them during like daytime I mean my you did that's their those guys day job Right, so they're, they're gonna be doing their meetings during, probably if you're working a nine to five, they're gonna be happening then, so you'll have to catch them not live. Um, we were in there asking questions on the last one just to see if I could catch, you know, any kind of glimpse of, uh, you know, the test net stuff, and it, it just seemed like nobody was, I mean, it's most developer meetings, gotta love them. Um, you know, they're gonna give some forecasts, but getting a forecast from a developer is uh, a pseudoscience in itself. So, you know, proof, this proof of stake thing's been talked about for a year, and last November is when everybody thought it would hit. So uh, they just got some stuff to figure out with it. Um, there's a lot of other things to mine. Um, outside of Ethereum, there's ETC, there's Z, you know, Zcash, uh, XMR, Monero, um, let's try these settings and then we'll wrap it up guys. Uh, I'll do this one. Somebody did a super chat with that. So I'm going to take, I'm going to make sure I've taken care of that, uh, that super chat. And then we're going to have a uh, later this week, uh, a large build for you guys. I think you guys will be, follow us on Twitter and you'll see some pictures of that large build that we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be an NVIDIA build um, and it's gonna be eight cards. So, uh, all right, so we said 120 on this, 175 here. And then I'm gonna, I'll bring the, uh, the people behind the camera in front of the camera here in a second. <laughs> So you guys can say hey to the team. All right. Yeah. And then we're doing Ethereum. We'll try them both. Oh, 
Oh, they want to do a nice hash? Was it nice hash or was it? He said nice hash. what he uses on his TF-1080s. Yeah, it's 31 on, on, on Ethereum. So, let's... Nice Ash. One twenty on the power target. They are power hungry. But Zcash likes more more GPU than it does memory. So you know those classified those. 1080 Ti or those 1080 classifieds I have push 2153 memory on the core. It's even more than this Ti, but it's their dogs when it comes to. So 650, 652. Yeah, it's still, it's, that's a little slower, 652. Um, but if it can handle that, I mean, when you take it to 700 there. I think this will... Yeah, that, that was actually a nice little bump. That's a lot higher. Here's the... So, taking the memory up, I'd, I'd counter that, that... that 175 and see if you can bump your memory. Because we're getting 715 versus 650. So not too bad. Almost eight bucks a day. So yeah, good test. I miss any super chats before we wrap it up. Let's see here, committed effort. Nope, I don't. I think we're good. Uh, Antonio, send us an email, and I'll see if I can help you with the two ten sixties. If you're still there. But uh, I say thanks for tuning in, guys. I wanted to bring those two to you, and then we'll have a regular episode coming into tomorrow, and then um, we'll have another live stream this weekend, and I'm, I'm doing a much bigger build for you um, out there. And, you know, just stay tuned, and we'll catch you. Do you guys want to... The man behind the camera, I got to bring him in. You guys have seen him a few times. It's Jason. He's been working on uh, the site, trying to get that done, so... You guys all say hey, hey to him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> there he is. Um I don't I don't I don't think we're gonna get Mrs. BBT up here. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll she'll make an appearance, I promise. Um and you you've all seen Todd a few times. Uh <laughs> we got one more back here. We're gonna be doing the new up, we're gonna be doing a uh, build um, and no that's not Thor uh, we're gonna be doing a build uh, an actual update to the new case uh, I got a couple new case designs for you guys we're gonna do a live stream kind of that and uh, that'll be into next week so we'll catch you guys later and stay tuned